absolute favorite feature of this grid is the fact that I can control the first eight inserts directly in Metagrid Pro. So as we can see, I've got six inserts on this particular channel. I have the names of all of these inserts. I can open them up with the touch of a button. Over on the side, we've got the quick controls that are assigned to that particular plugin. And most effects in Cubase, you can use quick controls with. And what I love to do is I love to jump into my quick controls and actually reassign any parameters that I love to use the most. So for example, Let's get rid of Pro-Q4, and we're gonna jump into the compressor here. So over here on the side, we have all the quick controls that I customized in Cubase for this particular plugin, and I can go ahead and do some really interesting things just by moving them with my finger. I can adjust the input, output, attack, release. And if you haven't done this with your plugins, this is a really great feature of Cubase. You can click the quick controls button up top. You can put it in learn mode. You can click any of these parameters and it will assign to any of these quick controls. So I'm going to very quickly go through and learn a lot of these commands on the fly. And really all I'd be looking for, for most of the time, I just want control over the input, the output, the attack, release, and the ratio of this compressor. So we're gonna get this out of write mode because I don't want to write this automation. I just wanna set my compressor and forget it. But as the track is playing, I can adjust the parameters of the compressor so that it is doing exactly what I want. Let's adjust the attack. Slow down the release a little bit. And maybe we want a different ratio on this. Let's try eight to one and see how that sounds. That sounds good to me. And now I can close this plugin. I can either tap that button again to close that particular plugin, or if I have several plugins open at once, I can hit this close all button at the top and it will clear my screen of plugins. The other cool thing you can do with this is you can turn on and off the inserts with the push of a button. So I can play the track and very quickly A, B, any of these plugins to my heart's desire, and I can say, you know what, that tape machine isn't doing it for me, I'm just going to turn it off. Or I could put it in write mode and say, I only want the tape to play during that section. And it is going to write all that information directly to the track. Now let's say you have a bunch of plugins open, but you only really want to control one of them. So let's say uh, we want to use the L1 and we want to control that with Metagrid, but we have all these other things open and we still wanna see what's going on. We can tap this top right button to lock the quick controls for that particular plugin. We can open up anything else that we want and we are still going to be able to control that L1 limiter directly on Metagrid. So let's play the track and we're going to adjust the threshold and the ceiling and let's open it back up. And I was still able to write all of that automation, even though that wasn't the plugin that was in focus. With the Cubase Selected Channel Grid in Metagrid Pro, you now have access to the first four sends in the channel that you selected all at your fingertips. So on this channel, I've got two sends assigned. One's going to a verb effect send and the other's going to a delay effect send. And I can tap these sends on and off to bypass or turn them on. I can also adjust the send level. And these are all parameters that you can automate in Metagrid Pro. So I'm gonna leave the verb effects on, but let's say that I only want the delay to come on during certain words. So we're gonna hit play. We're gonna put this in write mode. We're just gonna turn it on and turn it back off. And the automation is written directly in the channel in Cubase. But let's say I want the reverb to be always on, but I want to send various levels to that effect send throughout the session. We're gonna play the track. We're going to adjust the send level, bring it back down. And now I can play that back. And that automation that I drew in is going to display on the iPad, but it's also going to follow in Cubase. So the Cubase selected channel grid from Metagrid Pro allows you to do a lot of really cool things on the fly in your session when it comes to your sends and your inserts. Mm -hmm.